right hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be going ahead and um, I want to make sure that I update my sinking funds just to make sure that everything is pretty much in order I am going to be adding to some of my money challenges taking out whatever coin I have in my purse so without further ado guys let's go ahead hop in and let's get started before we get started if you have not already joined the family you guys know my name is Tina Thank you so much for coming back to check my channel out and then also make sure to click on the subscribe button and then also click on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. So that was all I had to say. Good morning, guys. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Right, okay. So we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check and see what I have for the coin because the coin usually I um, do it every time I do a cash stuff and but I don't really have too much coin. Um, because I haven't really been spending the cash out of my cash wallet so that is actually a pretty much good thing so I'm not mad that I don't have a lot of coins so it's gonna be good in both ways and I'm gonna check this because whichever one I grab first is the one that I put my coins in you know and I got them all out of um, out of order here all right so and first before we get into this guys I just want to like seriously stress like um with your cash stuffing and your money challenges um just take a look and just realize that your budget is your budget and your budget and other people's money challenges are not going to be the same so if somebody stuffs like like 600 or a thousand dollars just remember that even if you stuff 100 dollars or 200 dollars or even $20, that is still okay because you're still making progress for your budget. So like I said, I know sometimes you see other people, it can be like um, discouraging, I guess that's what you wanna say. And you might feel like, well, I guess I'm never gonna, but y'all, them little increments, them little amounts, they add up like crazy. So I'm telling you. So y'all go ahead and make sure that you do do that, okay? All right, so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the cash that we're going to be stuffing. We're going to be doing just 160. This is um, just money that I so-called um, like paid myself. Um, and then I did sell a couple of handbags. Um, so that money with Macari, it's like you um, you have to it has to get there first and then they have to rate you. So I'm not I didn't add that in here because I like to make sure that I have it actually in my account or in my hand so because you never know what might happen you know what i'm saying all right so um and for um you guys to ask for paycheck budget i don't always stuff my sinking funds with um the um paycheck bi-weekly paycheck because sometimes i mean if it allows you to do that it does if it doesn't and like i said like my business money i don't use all of it i just kind of pay myself because what i do is I think of it as I put a lot in savings I still have that money even though I'm not on camera showing you guys that I'm cash stuffing so this is going into envelopes that I am cash stuffing that you guys see but I do have some behind the scenes that you don't see and it's still saving so I mean but it's getting interest you know what I'm saying you guys got it all right so we got 20 40 60 70 80 90 110 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. And then we have 60. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys from the start, this one here, um, I don't have any use for it with my cash stuffing for the money challenges or anything. So I am actually going to take this because I'm going to put it in my $1 um challenge box that's where this dollar is going so i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it right now and put this jank in here for i be confusing myself later be like girl where, where did a dollar go where did a dollar come from all right and then i'm just gonna push these back a little bit i got like a little bit of feedback from um people saying like, hey once after you finish your coin you can just kind of move them off and that is so true so i'll have a lot more space which makes a lot of sense <laughs> okay all right so let's do this okay so I'm gonna put that there okay so we're gonna go through our um, envelopes to make sure that we are on point with these and first one we're gonna do is Aiden's and I did switch out my binders I found some of these stickers so I just went like crazy crazy with them so 
Y'all gonna have to excuse me with that one, okay? All right, so for Aiden's clothes, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 105, 10, 15. All right, so we got 115 for Aiden's clothes. So that will not be getting anything in there today, but I do like to keep up with what um, I have in there. And I do have a sinking fund sheets in the back. I know it looks like overkill, but this is how I stay organized and stay um, motivated and active to do it. All right, so next we have his school envelope here. And we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. All right, so we got 65 for his school envelope. And this one right here is just like for his school supplies, backpacks, and um, like if he had, because he has, he does have a fundraiser that um, he can get a scholastic book. So that will come out of his school envelope. Um, I have to send that by, I have the day written in my um, Hobonichi. So I have to check that out because it was a couple of books that he did say he wanted. All right, so for Aiden's savings, um, y'all know I get excited with this envelope. So y'all, 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 y'all understand me. Y'all feel me, y'all feel me. All right, so we got 1,500, 2,020, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. All right, so we got $2,085. Did I count that right? Let me make sure. Yeah, 2,020, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Yep, 2,085. I was like, hold up. All right. So we got 2085 and that's how much you have there. Okay. All right. And then family time. And then we're not stuffing anything. This is more of like stuffing like my money challenges. But like I said, I wanted to go through and make sure that everything was pretty much good. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. All right, so we got 75 in family time. And then I did, like I said, a couple of these, I did end up using um, some out of there. So it might be a little bit different than what's on my book back here. But I think I did, what did we do? Gosh, I can't remember. We did do something. Um, <gasps> y'all what I can't remember what we did because I know we went to the pumpkin patch and um gosh to this like the last bit of October and the beginning of November has been like a crazy blur all right so we're gonna put I'm gonna put this there so I'm just gonna stick that there all right so next we're gonna do just our regular sinking funds I don't even think I had that button up all right so that will be just like our normal things so we're gonna do birthdays. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I did. Um, it is gonna be a little bit different because of the things that we did. I gotta figure out, I have it written down in my planner because um, we did like, it was like, was it a Halloween thing we did? Um, I just have to figure out what it was. I know y'all, I got too much going on. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so that's birthday. So we put that back in there. So next we have Tina's clothes. So we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we got $50 in that. And it is starting to get straight brick cold outside, which is crazy. I mean, I know it happens every year, so I shouldn't be alarmed, right? <laughs> shouldn't be alarmed. All right, so we got home. So we have 50, 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. What in the world? In 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Let me fix this. 310, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 82, 84, 86, 80, 88, 89. Okay, so we got 389 there. I was like, what happened? Why was those 20s like that? So this right here, like, um, we're not adding anything to this, but we do need like a serious couch because little buddy just be, I don't know, slapping like juice on it and then you have to run. And then by the time you keep like going, cleaning it, it 
it just gets to the point where it's just like because it has like this um what do you call it like this protectant over it but i don't know i think they might need to revamp their um their strategy and their formula because little buddy proved it to be well i mean we have had it for a while so we do need it so this envelope might be paired up with my couch envelope so i'm just seeing if we have like um if we see like a good deal or something like that because if we do we're going to go ahead and hop on it but while we're waiting we're going to just um you know just stash money all right so next we have car and car is i don't have anything really in here so we got 50 55 um 60 I was like, uh, five. So, all right. So we're not adding anything to that. And I need to start like really, um, starting to like focus on like car thing. And then, um, I was watching Penny X Penny, um, video and, um, y'all go make sure to check her out. Um, and she has like this car envelope and she said, um, she needed some new wheels. So I think so. that is like an awesome idea. So, um, I think I will start incorporating a car envelope and I think that is something that is important because like I said with a car you never know what might happen them things have a mind of their own all right so boots we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 oh and again I like to say we're not adding anything to that thank you guys so much for still checking on me making sure that your girl is still kicking it I'm still kicking it Yesterday I was a little stuffed up, but I did do um, a pot on the stove. This was the first time I always like try to do like natural remedies, but I did do like a pot of um, not boiling water, but just like where the steam comes up. I put a couple drops of lavender in there and put some honey, um, like the raw local organic honey, put it on my sinus cavities, put a uh, towel over my head, y'all. And I just leaned over top of it. Um, I know it sounds uh, pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm a rebel. Oh, no, shocking. Um, no, it it sounds pretty dangerous, but it wasn't it wasn't that drastic. But um, and I just sat there and I just let the um steam, the fumes just come up in my in my nasal passages. I always like to say nozzle. Yeah, I'm working on how I pronounce things, y'all. I'm working on it. Um, my nozzle passages, and um, it started to clear everything out, and I was like, I was like, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so next we have electric. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 52. All right, so we got 352 for electric, which thank God so much we haven't had to dip into this. Super excited for that. All right, so next we have Merry Christmas and we ain't got nothing, but we got some Christmas presents, right? So we're going to do nothing. We're not putting anything in that. So for property taxes, people. All right. So the goal for property taxes. Let me get my trusty little book here. I got lotion all on this, y'all. Y'all be like, she be showing us all kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So for property taxes, we have um, on June the 7th, 2021, we did pay the 21061. So this is the second breakup of the payment. So this is due 12621, um, 151, 61. All right, so that will be one that we will be adding to. So we are going to do, I'm just gonna put this right here just for now, people. All right, so property taxes. What did I say we had? I forgot. Oh, 148. So property taxes, we have 148 and we need to get to 15161, as you can see here. I can just slap this here so that works. 148. Um, All right, so we got, let me just make sure 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Okay. All right, so we're going to add $4 because the. Four dollars will make it 152. So let's do two four. We're gonna do two twos with that. So that'll be four dollars. So we're gonna add four dollars, and then that should make us have um one 152. All right, yep, yeah, 152. Okay, all right. So this right here will go to um, I'm just gonna because it's thick so i am just going to all right so i'm going to put a sticky on this so today i am actually going to get a money order or a cashier's check either one 
for 152 and I am going to pay the property taxes, but it's not due until 12 6 21 but trying to get in the habit of if i already have the money just to go ahead and get it done and not wait um that's like a seriously good habit to have and i need to scan my receipt so guys if you have not already um this is for my gas if you have not already signed up for fetch rewards Y'all, make sure you go ahead and sign up because that's like leaving free money on the table. Um, I do have a link in the description box. Um, so that way when you sign up, you do get some free points. And then, um, what I got going on here? Oh, there it go. That's what's happening. Okay, so when you do sign up, you do get free points. And then um, it's like a referral thing, so I get free points too. Um, so that's a good way to kind of maximize on um, spending um, from your cash envelopes because you have the receipts you scan them you get points and then you can use that towards gift cards um, And even magazine subscriptions, so they have like different type of things that you can do with that So um, so this right here is paid now But I'm gonna wait till I mail it and I look online and I see that it says we have received your money order So then that's what we're gonna do And then we'll mark that as paid. Okay. All right. So that's what we have going on there All right, so next we have we're doing um for our sinking funds challenges we are doing couches um so like i said the couches one is important that i really want to do and for the couch um sinking funds we're going to actually add 50 dollars to that so we're going to get our um i got a lot of space going on here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one out the way here all right, so we have money saving challenge. I didn't already opened it. Um, this is where we keep all of our challenges in. So we're going to go to this binder here. All right, so um, I'm going to go to couch. And this is this envelope here. So what we have in here is I'm going to actually take my sticky here. And I am not my sticky, my uh, magnet and just close it so I can just flip back and forth to make it easier. Um, so, oh yeah, and guys, I know you guys always ask me what this clip is. This is a, a Moterm, just like the wallet. Um, it's a Moterm magnetic clip. It's kind of like the Ollie blocks, but yeah, you can get clips for, um, each of the different type of leather they have. Like, you can get one in Croc, you can get one in the gray Croc, you can get one in the pebble pink. So, you can get it in different types, whatever pocket planner you have or whatever, whatnot. Super cool, right? All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so we got $119 in here. So we are just going to be adding, I said $50. So we're going to do three tens and four fives. All right. Uh, 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 so we are adding 50 dollars and i said we had 20 40 60 70 80 90 105 10 15 16 17 18 19 all right so we got 119 dollars in there all right so we're gonna put this all together 60 70 80 91 Woo! 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 66 67 68 69 all right so we got 169 i bet y'all were like if she count that junk one more time that's gonna be it right all right so um and i put that with christmas i bet y'all were probably screaming tina it's in the christmas field i know i um I've been taking like lots of night quill and day quill too, y'all. All right, so we did for the couch, we did three, and then we did four fives. Okay, all right, cool down. All right, so that is what we have for couch. And like I said, um, for uh, white out everywhere, if we do find something for like a couch, like I said, the sinking funds, I do like it stacking up, but shoot, I'm telling you, when you need to use them, use them. You know what I'm saying? But they do look good when they like racking up. All right, so we'll see with the couch, it'll be 
169 plus if we did find a nice cash 389 so that would be a total of 558 if we see something that we actually like and then basically start back over you know what i'm saying all right so that's 50 so and remember what i said about the couch sinking funds I'm gonna get a color that I want. I'm gonna do the pink this time. Um, each block is $12. So um, basically I'm doing $50. So that'll actually be, um, let's do, that, yeah, that'll be five couches. And my, I don't know if it's because the edge is chiseled. That's why I'm like struggling. Oh, wait, let me turn it this way. Okay. Because this coloring is off the chain. Okay, all right, so that's what our furniture money savings is looking like. All right, so let's flip back over. All right, so next we're gonna do the bag. This is another money challenge that I'm doing. This challenge right here is, um, and somebody did make a good um, comment, which I'm like, that is like so true. So like sometimes, um, don't do too many challenges but like i said it's up to you but sometimes you want to make sure that you focus on your debt also but it's good to do challenge because i know sometimes like i'll be like oh i'm girl i'm gonna do this challenge i'm gonna do this challenge but then i'm like wait a minute tina you're neglecting paying off your credit cards so just keeping it real with you guys so that's why sometimes i'm like eh, i'll do a couple and um and also if it's some challenges that i've tried and then if um I mean, if it's not working out, then I'll just um, let you guys know and tell you guys like, hey, y'all, this right here will go to my dad and then um, I'm not doing this challenge anymore. So, you know, I just let you guys know, tell you. So that's how that works. OK, so next we're going to do secure the bag and this money here that I save here will be going to my credit card debt. So I am super excited to be saving this and I am like super determined because wouldn't that be awesome for $400 to go to credit card debt i know it sucks because it's not going to savings but if it's going to pay off credit card debt to save you interest that is a good thing so we are actually going to be saving um 40 dollars 40 more dollars to this secure i keep saying saving the bag challenge money with gabe is going to be like girl if i i hear you say that one more time but um it's secure the bag i don't know sometimes when i get stuck on something i'm just like boop my mind is like boop Okay, so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna do um, two, two, we're gonna do a 20 and two tens. Let's do that. Ooh, this is a little, I see, I like this color. This kind of goes a little bit better. All right, I gotta remind myself not to write on the 20. Okay, so we're gonna do, um, yeah, I like that color better. I'm gonna see if I can just do this. Oh. Okay. And y'all, like I said, I didn't have the thick paper that I normally get at Walmart. So your girl actually took another sheet of paper and just, yeah, I just, I guess I didn't ruin myself with the thick paper. Okay. All right. So that's what we have so far. So we need to do a 20 and then we need to do two tens there. So that will go in our envelope. So I'm excited already. And then, like I said, the bag that I sold that money will go to my save the bag challenge so that should give me a few extra spots because the bag i sold was like 60 bucks um probably 58 bucks but i'm gonna do two two dollars to add to it so 20 40 50 60 and i sold that on macari guys so um tell you i have a link in the description box macari sign up you get ten dollars off your first um purchase but then also, you know what I'm saying, you can find great deals and you can also get rid of things that's in your closet that you're not using to make some extra cash. So it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, all right, so I didn't lost my spot here. October, November. All right, that's, oh yeah, that's right here. Okay, all right, so let's flip back. Okay, so the bag we did, we had, $20 so we're doing $40 so that made us have $60 and we did 120 and we did two tens all right so 52 weeks I know we're like flipping back and forth but you know what this is necessary guys this is necessary because we got to get our 
money challenges together. Okay, so on this week, um, I am paid bi-weekly. So um, this right here will be um, $40. I think I might be a week ahead, I'm not sure. Um, but as long as I'm not behind, I'm super, super good. So this is gonna be um, $40 that we're gonna be adding today. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this box. And I am going to put that back. I'm gonna do it this way. Like I said, this thing clamps like a bunch of pages, guys. Okay, so 52 weeks. We're gonna do $40, and that did say that we should have, here we go, right here. That should say we should have, end up with $8.19 for how much we should have in our cash envelopes for that. All right, so we got, let me go to 52s. And I do have a money placeholder in here, and the rest is in the bank. All right, so we got okay. to add what we're gonna add to it. So we're gonna do um, just basically two 20s. All right, so I did add some extra lines in here, y'all, cause y'all probably like, why is this getting so small? All right, so we should have, um, so it should be 779 and then we should end up with 819, but let's just make sure that that's what we got. So I'm gonna take these two 20s. All right, so we got 550, 60, 70, 80, 90, 610, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 800, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we are right on point with that. Haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that yet, so we will see what will happen. All right, so next we have um, Switch, which I am not gonna be adding anything to. Um, oh, I do have a balance for Switch. I'm tripping. All right, so we got 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 57, 58. All right, so we got $58 in our Switch game envelope. Um, so, and we are not adding anything to that at all. Um, so I think we are pretty much done. And the money that I do have left here, this will go. So we got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we have $25 left. This right here will actually go to my um, credit card debt. So, um, yep, this is where this is going. So I'm gonna do $25 to credit card debt. All right. So we got that, so that will go there. I'm gonna put this here because what I'm gonna do is, this drink is getting chunky because I added that money in the back. All right, so I'm gonna fold this like that. And then I'm gonna put it in this. So that way, when I go to the bank. All right, so I know this is for my credit card and then this is gonna be for my um, property taxes. I was like, what is going on? What am I saying? Okay, all right, so that is what that is gonna be for. So we're gonna go ahead and add up our numbers we got 115 65 2085 75 three dollars 50 389 60 35 352 148 119 20 779 and 58 all right so we got 4353 and then we got um 80 four dollars that should be the same thing so 40 and it would be one dollar um so we got one sixty fifty nine because i took one dollar out and i put that in my one dollar challenge so, right, so let's go ahead and add this column up so we got 115 65 285 75 three dollars fifty thirty eight nine i was like 38 nine right 60, 35, 352, 152, 169, 68, 19. So we got 
4,429. One that I have for debt, I didn't put that on this calendar here. And so. I do have my sinking funds thing. I started because the videos have been getting kind of long. But I just want to show you guys that I have been keeping updated with the sinking fund sheets that I have. Um, this is just um, what I keep like a running record of what's going on. So it's all in just one place. So these are all of my sinking fund sheets that I have. So I have been keeping up with them, guys. So just to let you know. So thank you guys so much for joining me with my money challenges, sinking funds, Aiden, paying extra to my debt, paying um, towards the property taxes so we can get that pretty much done. And um, if you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up because you know your girl always appreciate it. Be sure to check out my Instagram. It's called A Pink Cloth Life. And then also my website is called Plink Cloth. That Plink. Plink. It's not Plink. It's not Plink. It's called PinkCloth.Etsy.com. That's my Etsy. And then my website is called PinkCloth.Co. And then like I always say, until next time, guys. Peace.